What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Uh, today I want to talk about a couple of tips. Uh, first tip I want to talk about is uh, how to delete an invoice. Uh, we already know you can void an invoice, but what if you want to delete an invoice? We just added this feature. Um, you gotta go, the only way you can delete an invoice, you gotta go to the daily report. And the, the reason we do so uh, is because we want to, we want to make sure that somebody who, uh, who's doing so have an access uh, with a passcode. So you go to the daily reports and just let's say we want to delete the invoice one two two five click on it and when you click on the menu right here so you have the edit void refund and you have one more right now delete an invoice when you click on delete an invoice just click yes it's going to ask you to type the word delete just to confirm delete and it deletes the invoice automatically it's gone so keep that in mind um, another feature I want to talk about, which is really important, adding the mileage. I keep hearing it a lot where people keep forgetting to add the mileage. And when you forget to add the mileage, it is an important thing because that's how you stay disciplined. And that's how you keep track of the vehicle, uh, maintenance, uh, your warranty. It's very, very important to add the mileage. So we have an option right here if you go to, to general settings and go to invoice settings and we have something called enforce mileage before payment um, usually it's unchecked by default it's unchecked so if you're one of those guys who forget to add the mileage just check it let me show you how that work so let's create an estimate real quick and uh, so I assume we have an estimate, we're gonna authorize it. Notice there's no mileage there. And you still can add whatever you wanna add. No problem there, but when you're ready to pay it, and this is when the problem with people forgetting to add the mileage when, after you pay, because once you pay it, the invoice is gonna close automatically. So if I click on pay now, it's gonna remind me you need to add the mileage, enter mileage in and mileage out. And obviously all you have to do is enter mileage in unless mileage out is different than mileage in. So just let's say 136, 459 and then click on confirm and it adds the mileage in. Now it brings you to checkout automatically and just that. So by doing this, this setting right here, let's go back to that setting. Um, it's going to help you a lot to enforce the mileage. It's going to remind you to add the mileage and it's gonna keep you disciplined. And guys, I promise you, if you're disciplined, you're successful. If you're not disciplined, you cannot be successful. I don't make the rules, I only follow the rules. Um, uh, that's it for today, appreciate you guys watching, until next time, thanks.